Hello, welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we will tell you about how the cast of The Magnificent Seven 1960 has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1960 and now in 2022, how they've changed compared to when they were on the show. Alright, let's go. Steve McQueen In the movie, he plays Vin Tanner. He was 30 years old in 1960 and it was with great sadness that McQueen died of a heart attack at 3.45 a.m. at Juarez Hospital on November 7, 1980, at the age of 50. <laughs> I did hear of a job below the border shooting some flies away from a village, but I can't find out what it pays. Twenty dollars. A week? Six weeks, the whole job. Up on my pillow Yul Brenner. In the movie, he plays Chris Adams. In 1960, he was 40 years old, and it was with great sadness that Brenner died of lung cancer on October 10th, 1985, in New York Hospital at the age of 65. Very proud. Uh, the graveyard's a fool of boys who are very young and very proud. And my time was so limited to make that commercial that says simply, now that I'm gone, I tell you. Charles Bronson. In the movie, he plays Bernardo O'Reilly. In 1960, he was 39 years old, and it was with great sadness that Bronson died at the age of 81 on August 30, 2003, pneumonia and Alzheimer disease. Well, your fathers are much braver because they carry responsibility for you, your brothers, your sisters, and your mothers. And this responsibility is like a big rock that weighs a ton. Shot off a box car. And I have that one. It's right here. That wound. And I have many others, of course, but they're not that much. Yeah. Not that much to talk about. Horse Buckholds. In the movie, he plays Chico. In 1960, he was 27 years old. And it was with great sadness that Buckles died suddenly on the 3rd of March 2003 at the age of 69 at the Berlin Charité from pneumonia that developed after hip fracture surgery. The word is out you're looking for men. That's right. Men who are good with that. I'm good with it. Past? And I'm a, uh, yeah, a zwielichtige person da drin. Was ja nicht wirklich bin. Oder? Nee, nee, nee. Oder? Oh, schon ihr der Nette. Robert Vaughn. In the movie, he plays Lee. He was 28 years old in 1960. It was with great sadness that Vaughn died in a hospice in Danbury, Connecticut on November 11, 2016, at the age of 83, after a year of treatment for leukemia. <laughs> Saturday afternoon cartoons, and I even saw some William Powell, Myrna Loy movies, which I, I don't know how I understood them then, but I understand them better now. <laughs> Eli Wallach. In the movie, he plays Cavara. In 1960, he was 45 years old, and was with great sadness that Wallach passed away on June 24, 2014, of natural causes at the age of 98. How many of you did they hire? Enough. New wall. And there was a heating unit down below, and that's where my hand was. But they were suggesting that my hand was on a vital part of the, of the young lady, Carol Baker. James Carbon. In the movie, he plays Brit. He was 32 years old in 1960. And sadly, Carbon died of a heart attack at his Beverly Hills home on November 18, 2002, at the age of 74. Well, how about it? Well? Over half of my life, and I finally got one right, I guess. Uh, this... Th uh, yeah. 
Brad Dexter. In the movie, he plays Harry Luck. In 1960, he was 43 years old, and was with great sadness that Dexter died in Rancho Mirage, California, of emphysema on December 11, 2002, at the age of 85. All right, all that's on top. What's underneath? Only what I told you. Gold, cattle, payroll. Only what I told you. Oh, sure, sure. Never mind. Orihim Martinez de Hoyos. In the film, he plays Hilario. In 1960, he was 40 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on May 6, 1997, at the age of 76. Take the rifles and the mandolinas and pass them out. Now let's get out there on duty. Vladimir Sokolov. In the movie, he plays the old man. In 1960, he was 71 years old, and was with great sadness that Sokolov died of a stroke. In 1962, aged 72, in Hollywood, California. The summer may be too hot, the winter too cold. The sow has no pigs. The farmer is afraid he may starve. She has too many pigs. He's afraid. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.